Hey guys, Matt here, Third Perspective Design. Uh, we're about to do a 2020 shop tour. I've had this property for about five years, so there's been a bit of a, an evolution to it as well. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit as well. I'm with my buddy Vader. <laughs> He's kind of the shop dog, and uh, my beautiful wife is the one that's gonna be recording uh, this 2020 shop tour. Uh, let's get into it. kind of the wood designated spot. So I have all my two by fours for my wood, uh, my wood topper for my planter box. That's one of the things I built. Um, so I can cut it on my saw and I can also run it through my uh, drum sander. So everything is kind of, the workflow is really important to me. So this section is utilized very well. And as we kind of move on, all right, so over here is uh, the old workbench I have, uh, old trusty. It's been modified, beaten up, painted on, stained on, burnt, welded on, all sorts of wonderful things. So it's seen some, it's seen some shit. Let's just say that. Um, so I'm treating this, going to probably cover this in plastic, and this is kind of being maybe where I do a lot of my staining. So when my wood gets all cut up and it's all fancy, beautiful, uh, sanded and everything like that. Uh, comes over here to get stained. Um, so, kind of keeping the woodworking table, the new woodworking table over here, a little bit more beautiful for a little bit longer. So this is kind of the heartblood of the shop. This is where all the main woodworking projects get built and uh, thought out and designed here. i uh, got a bunch of storage for different uh, containers for my stool and just different woodworking tools um, as well. And then to the far left, over here, um, it's kind of a little bit of a junk pile to the left, but right here is all the steel that gets cut up for the planter boxes. So that's the, the framework of the planter box. Um, then I got a metal working station for a, a grinding stand that I have permanently set up all the time. So I'm always grinding something or buffing something. And then for all my consumables, and then I got a little compressor stand that I built a few years ago. Um, yeah, for the most part, a lot of the things I built, like this table, this middle bench, is one of the first things I ever built, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, and then over here is just a bunch of more benches and just consumables and pipe stands. And there's some pipe stands behind here and an auction settling. Um, Everyone uses a big drill, standard drill, it's nice to have. Um, yeah, and then this French clinic design, I designed and kind of uh, saw a bunch of Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, checked it out. This is a really good way of organizing shop space. So uh, I, went, I went this route for uh, my cables over here. I decided to um, organize my cables a little bit more. I have a generator gas welder behind this outside and I just ran a four inch piece of pipe that I can run my cables through. So that's a simple fix for now. Eventually uh, is to get the power working where I'll, I'll have an indoor welder. But a little bit, maybe that might be a 2021 dream. Um, yeah, and then the French Crete and then all my uh, power tools, cable tools, different stuff. There's all types of things down here. There's belt sanders, there's Jigsaws, there's a bunch of grinders, a couple of powered lights, uh, Sawzall, a bunch of different stuff. And then also too, over here I have room to grow, which is nice as well with the French Creek design. Um, and there, I'm still reorganizing some things, but this is gonna be bolt storage down the road. And then I also have a three car bay garage back here that's unheated, but that's, that's another story. That's gonna be for another year. Um, yeah, and then my beautiful sister, she got me some uh, locker for my birthday um, a few weeks ago, which is pretty awesome. So now I have a place for my welding helmet and all my leathers and welding stuff, which I've always wanted, so yay me. Um, and then up there, that's just storage. It's just a mezzanine. And then there's a bathroom in here. That is uh, nice to have because we're detached from the sh we're detached from the house. We're not going to show that off. That's a shop bathroom. That's a no no. We're not going to show that off. Uh, yeah, that's about it, folks. Hopefully you liked it. Matt here, Third Perspective Design. Um, <laughs> please follow me all on all the social platforms. I'm on all of them. 
You know, as much as 2020 has been a dumpster fire, um, I've taken it in stride. I've kept myself busy. And I think a lot of people out there have, and I think that's really good. Uh, for myself, and I can only really speak for myself, is like this French cleat uh, over here, that workbench, that woodworking workbench, and the things that I've just done to make this my property and the shop better um, has improved, <laughs> I guess, mental health and everything. I think a clean shop and a clean mind uh, go hand in hand. So um, hopefully you like my shop tour and uh, uh, hopefully 2021's not a dumpster fire. <laughs>